Welcome to Cook 30 for Kids. I'm Chef Jeremy Dixon from the Revive Cafes in Auckland, New Zealand. And today I'm going to share with you some great cafe secrets, tips, flavours, so you can make world-class food in your very own home kitchen. Cook 30 for Kids meals is all about using healthy ingredients so you can grow up big and strong. Lots of fresh fruit and vegetables, flavours, plant-based proteins. And the best part is, today I have two wonderful people to help me. We have Lila and Brayden. Great to see you guys. So where are you from, Lila? I am from Tennessee. Fantastic. And you? I'm also from Tennessee. Also from Tennessee. Well, what's the chances of that? So you brothers and sisters or? No, we're friends at a school. It's Madison Campus Elementary. Wow, that's great. Well, lovely to meet you guys. Thanks for coming today. It's going to be fun cooking in the kitchen. So, um, Lila, tell us a bit about yourself. What do you do? You have any hobbies or sports or things that you do? Um, well, I do like playing with dolls sometimes. Yes. And I like to dress up. Oh, cool. That sounds pretty exciting. And uh, Brayden, do you get up to anything? Uh, I like to play sports. Yes. Which ones? Um, I like to run in cross country and play basketball and soccer. Wow, that sounds like a great... Cross country, you must be a fast runner, are you? Um... Well, I suppose cross country is all about kind of stamina endurance. and distance and endurance, exactly. Well, that's fantastic. That's great. And um, so, Lila, what's your favourite food? What do you like to eat? Um, I'm probably going to have to say green peppers. Yes. I just like the flavour. Oh, that's good. Green peppers are a great flavoursome thing. And um, Brayden, do you I like, like Indian food. Indian food. Anything specific in Indian? Mm, everything. Okay, great. Well, that's good. There's lots of lovely flavours and spices in Indian food, isn't there? Well, that's brilliant. Well, we better get on cooking, haven't we? So, um, can you guys let us know what is on the menu today? What is on the menu today is Thai butternut and cilantro soup with basil hummus. And for dessert, we have watermelon pizza. Sounds hard to make. <laughs> it's a very yummy, yummy dish, and you'll see what it is like shortly. Okay, let's get cooking. Now before we start cooking, one thing that's really, or some things that are really important, we kind of have to be prepared. You can't just jump in the kitchen with no planning and expect meals to happen really quickly. So we've got a clear, clear counter here, we've got our ingredients out, ready to go. We've got a pot on the stove, um, we've got water boiling in the jug, so that's ready to go for, for our soup. And um, great attitude, are you ready? Yeah! Excellent! Okay, so we're going to make the, we're going to start off making the, the butternut soup. So do you guys like butternut? Yeah. That's really cool. So I'll show you how to cut it. I'll, I'll cut it here because th these knives can be pretty dangerous. But with the butternut, as you'll notice, there's um, actually, if you cut it in half, one half has the seeds and the other half doesn't have seeds. So we're going to save time and just use the other half that doesn't have the seeds. So I'll just kind of cut off the, um, cut off the skin here. You can actually cook with the skin on the butternut. Um, but for a soup, you kind of don't want the skin. But if you're roasting it, it's actually really yummy. So I'll just cut it like that. There we go. There's a nice chunk of butter. Actually, I forgot to do the first thing first. We need to put the onions on first. So we're going to put okay. the pot on. We'll turn that on. So we're going to put some onions in there. So I'll just chop some of these and show you, show you first. So do you guys use onions in your cooking? Well, my sister does. I'm not that really good at cooking, but... <laughs> and what do you like to cook I am when a good helper, cook? though. Good. That's excellent. I what do you cook when you do cook? Well, we, I usually help her make noodles. Like, just a few days ago, we were at our Nana's, and I helped her make some ramen. Some ramen? Homemade ramen. Some noodles. That's excellent. And I chopped up some cilantro and... Did some... Yeah, I chopped up some onions also. Oh, great. That's great. That's brilliant. So we'll just chop these up and put them in the pot. Like that. And um, Brayden, if you can throw a little bit of olive oil in there as well, that'd be great. Um, and some garlic. So we'll just if you'll give you some garlic, and we'll grab the garlic press that should be over there somewhere. Where? Yeah, over here in the little thing there. There you go. Oh. So what you do? Put put the put everything in the in the press, skin and all. 
and then we'll put it into the would pot. Would you like me to start stirring? I would love you to start stirring it. Wait. So grab your favourite stirrer. Do I smash it? Brilliant. Or do I do it in? Yep, in there, in there. So skin it all and just, just uh, press it into there. See if you've got enough strength there. I might just give you a bit of a help. I'll try. Yes, give it a squeeze. So you can actually put the skin all in or the skin doesn't come out the ends. See if you can I both give it a go. Try it together. Let's get our strength. Man, <laughs> I know it's strong. I'll give it a go. That one's probably a tough one. There you go. Look at all that garlic coming out there. Are you Superman or something? Uh, yes, but don't tell anyone. It's a secret. You're not meant to know. So what we've got there, we've got garlic and onion and oil. Isn't that look? Smell? Can you start it smelling? Ah, my eyes. <laughs> so, is there any garlic floating around? We need some garlic. Uh, garlic. Right there? Uh, no, sorry, ginger, ginger. Oh. Where do we put that? Might be in the fridge. If you can hunt around in the fridge for some ginger, over there, and we'll put that in as well. It should be in the door there. Oh, sorry, I found it, I found it. Oh, okay. My mistake. So if you want to squeeze in around about two tablespoons of, of um, ginger. Okay. Now, ginger and garlic go really, really well together, and onions, they make a really nice flavour base at the beginning of the fish. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And ginger is probably the most important ingredient of this dish because it really makes it have a lovely flavour, especially with the, the butternut. Oh, I'll make it all back. Yep, overfill that one, seeing so you didn't quite get it out. Now you can chop up ginger at home if you want, but these little purees, if you want to hold that up for the camera, hold that little thing up for the camera, hold it steady. These little purees that you can buy in the supermarket are actually really, really good to get as well. They're really quick, you don't have to chop up ginger, and they have an amazing flavour. Although, you know how we put the garlic in? You can also buy garlic in these kind of tubes at the supermarket, but the garlic in the tubes taste horrible. So never ever buy the garlic pre-done. You must, must um, put it in like that. So you can with ginger, but not with garlic. That just smells amazing, doesn't it? So that's a really good base for a meal. Makes me want to cry. <laughs> so I'm just going to chop up this butternut just to, this is a quite a, you might want to get your mum to help you chop these type of things. So we're just going to chop it up into, into little cubes here. So we're going to blend this all later so we don't need to be too fussy in our chopping. And we'll just slice it like that and put it in. There we go. So if you want to fire that in the pot, all those little little cubes. Awesome. Little, yep, put it in the pot. With my hands? The, yep, with your hands, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't be scared to touch touch the food with your hands. You kind of want to mm. just... Lovely. That's great. Yeah. Um, so what's next on the ingredient list? We're going to have some red Thai curry paste. And red Thai curry paste is just a blend of lots of different spices and and things, and it's just a really quick way to be able to get some nice Thai flavours in there. So, so if you can put a teaspoon, here's a little teaspoon here, of um, Thai curry paste in there, and drop it in, that'll be brilliant, wonderful. And if you can put a tablespoon of coriander, that's this little okay. spice there. Wait, this one or that one? Um, use the big one, the tablespoon. Okay. And if you want all these recipes, they're in the Cook 30 for Kids book. So um, you don't necessarily have to copy down all the, all the ingredients. I'm just going to chop these carrots up. I'll drop right in. Smells good. Smelling good, excellent. We're coming along there. Keep stirring. So if you want to put the carrots in as well. Oh, okay. So do you guys like cilantro? Yes. Do you like cilantro, Brayden? Yep. That's good because cilantro is one of my most favourite herbs and also it's a herb that really looks beautiful on a meal as a garnish and it adds great flavour, so it's great that you like it. But some people just don't seem to like it for some reason. Oh yeah, that's not true. So see how it's wrapped in, in, um, in, in uh, pa wet paper towel? Put it in the fridge and it'll last for ages because herbs generally like to dry out. So if they're wrapped in a paper towel, um, wet paper towel, they last for ages. Look, I bought that about probably three or four days ago and it's looking looking not too bad there now. So what I'm going to do, see these little stalks here? Mm -hmm. So they've got lots of amazing flavour in them. And these little leafy bits, they are very, very beautiful and they look really nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to chop this really finely and use it in there and cook it and use the top end for the, um, for the garnish. 
So we get the flavour from the bottom bit, so we'll cut it about halfway. There's still some leaves there, but most of it is stalks. Cut it really finely and, and put it in the in this base of the soup and that'll just give a really nice flavour as well. So if you can put that in the pot. Okay. Where I come from we call it coriander, so coriander ah. and slamper are the same thing. Okay. Not that's okay, we need to get, our hands, get your hands dirty in, in cooking, it's, it's, it's half the fun. So how's that looking? So beautiful and glamorous. Exactly, so when you eat pumpkin soup, you, there's a little bit of work that goes in. So we've got, what have we got in there? We've got obviously pumpkin, and we've got some carrots, and the carrots add sweetness. We've got the onions, which has sweetness, and what, what else do we put in there? We put cilantro. Cilantro, which is good, a good flavour. What Garlic. else? Garlic. And the weird Garlic. coriander seed Coriander stuff. powder. And don't forget the Thai curry paste. Oh yeah. And that makes just a little bit of spiciness. Do you guys like hot food at all? Yeah. Oh good. So a little bit of spiciness is really nice. But um, if you want a bit of spiciness, we probably want to put it in later. So you, want, you don't want to put too much in first. Because what happens if you put too much in first? Uh, it can be really yeah. hot. Have you ever had, had something really hot? Yeah. Burns your mouth out? So always, if in doubt, just add a little bit to begin with. And that way, um, you can always add more later, but you can't, it's very difficult to take it out. Yeah. Now I'll just add some boiling water, just grab this. So we want uh, six cups of boiling water, so there's basically seven cups in here. So that's, see how that, that onion is now nice and, um, so it's all soft and it's mm -hmm. kind of clear? Mm -hmm. That means it's ready to go. Because you know when you start off with onion, you can get that kind of oniony kind of raw taste. You don't yeah. want that for your meal, so it's really important to do that. So yeah. great stirring there. So let's just put in six cups wow. of water. Oop, there's five, six. And look, and that is how the beginnings of a soup's made. So you know there's kind of lots of flavour in there. If we just started just with pumpkin and water, what would it taste like? Bland. Pretty bland and pretty boring. Blech. So all those extra flavours at the beginning is worthwhile spending time on to make it taste really, really good. Okay, that's going well. So just keep stirring there. So we can probably turn the, the gas onto high, brilliant. And we'll let that sit there until the pumpkin and the carrot goes really soft, and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so what's next? So we are now going to make some hummus. Have you guys ever made hummus before? Not no. made, but eaten. <laughs> well, I've made it once, I once? think. Once? Oh, good. And what's the main ingredient of hummus? Weird um, beans? I, I weird pins. beans. Um, <laughs> pins? I don't know. Just like the close. circle beans. Circle beans? Uh, <laughs> beans? I don't know. Okay, so what we're going to use is garbanzo beans. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, they sometimes call them chickpeas. Oh, yeah. Um, or sometimes... That's um, what yeah. I know about. So garbanzo beans, chickpeas, same thing. So we've got a can of them. You can cook them up yourself, but it's really easy when you've got a can. So if I can get you to um, open that and drain the water out in the sink. Do so, Wait, right. do you like me right to here. put the lid on the... Uh... Yes, put the lid on, good good thinking. So basically just put that there and like that. Oh! Oops, yep, and then just turn it around, see if you can okay. work that out. Brilliant. Looking good. So that's the first ingredient for hummus. Um, oh, this is easy. Excellent. Brilliant, yeah, perfect. Has it gone through? Yep. Oh no, a bit more, a bit more. You need to, okay. you've got about three quarters of the way around. See if you can get the rest opened. And the next ingredient is, do you know what tahini is? Oh boy. No. I don't. Oop. Keep turning. That sounds... You might have to go back to here. I'll yeah. Come back to here and help you there. So if you just start again from there. Yep, you'll be right. Just start again from there. Just hold it, hold it nice and tight. Well done. Brilliant. Perfect. Ooh. Lovely. So pull the lid off. And if you want to go and drain it in the sink, so just hold your hand over it and pour it in the, over the sink so that the water comes out and the chickpeas stay in the can. See how many you can uh, get, keep in there. Oh, it looks like you're going to keep them all. That's fantastic work. So tahini is sesame seed paste. So sesame basically they, they get sesame ah. seeds and they, yep, that's part of cooking, getting your hands dirty. So sesame seeds and they grind them up and it looks like this and it looks like, well there's a bit of oil in the top, but when we stir it, it looks like peanut butter, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's a really nice kind of seedy, like a really nice paste. Um, and it's just a really nice ingredient that kind of gives a lot of nice flavour to the hummus. Sorry, fishy. 
It's a gushy. Oh, gushy, yes, it's gushy and squishy. So often you need to stir it like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the ingredients in the blender. So if you can put the chickpeas in, that's great. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> very cool. And if you can put um, two tablespoons of that in, you can do that, Brayden. That'd be great. <laughs> okay. And if you can put in half I'll a teaspoon it. of salt, that's a half teaspoon measure there, so measure that out. Cool. This much? So, so two make sure teaspoon. it's flat when you're measuring out. See how it's kind of yeah. rounded? Yep, perfect. So put that in. Lovely, you guys are doing well. Throw it in there. So hummus is a great, Two. what can you use hummus for? What? Hummus is for like naan and uh, Yeah, you, you're right, you can bread. use naan bread and things. Um, it comes from the Middle East, um, but it's great for dipping in or, and the best thing what we're going to use it for today is we're going to use it on top of the soup. You can mix it on okay. top of the soup, it makes yeah, garnish. Yeah, I've seen some yeah. stuff like that. Exactly, so it's really good. So I'll just take some of this garlic up. We want um, two cloves of garlic. So I'll just squash this and see if you guys can get Ooh, the rest of the skin off. Awesome. I'll just get it started for you. So if you want to put the two, two cloves of garlic in. Be careful. I don't know. You can see if you can get that garlic Let's unwrapped. Let's see. Unwrapping garlic can be difficult. Try and do it over here if you can so the kids at home can see. So do it over the board. There you go. Um, we're going to use a quarter of a cup of water. So I'll put that in. And some lemon juice. Do I get the skin? Uh, don't put the skin in. Okay. No. So do I just put it in like that? Yep, just like put this? the whole garlic in like that. The blender will blend it up. That's great. And we're going to squeeze these lemons in. Smells see if you like can a see if you can squeeze it. What you try, what you do with the lemon, you can use a lemon squeezer, but it's quicker if you just get the lemon and squeeze it in. But see those seeds there? Do we want yeah. those in there? Yeah. No. No, they're quite a bit of taste. If one goes in, it's probably not the end of the world. But basically, what you do <laughs> is you want to squeeze it into your hand. So basically, the, the the seed gets caught in your hand, and the rest of the lemon juice goes in. So see if you can do that. Grab a half a lemon each. Mm -hmm. And see if you can add some there. Okay. Let me yeah. get up the cilantro off. Give it a squeeze. Oh, it's coming out. That's, these, are, these are actually very hard lemons. I'll, I'll squeeze it if you like, and you hold your hand there. It's not and so open your fingers just a little bit, and it should leak out. So there we go. Let's see if you can give it a go, Lila. Oh, my words, this is so hard. Yeah, normally lemons are a little bit softer, so it's a little bit easier, but oh, you're getting some out. Would you like me to stir the soup? Ah! Um, just have a look at it, just give it a quick stir, that would be great. Careful when you open the pot that steam doesn't burn you. There you go. So when you open the pot lid, I'll show you, put the lob pot lid back on. One thing to do at home is when you lift it, up, lift it up like that, away from you, so any steam that comes out is not going to burn you in the face, whereas you open it like this, it can come out and burn you. So you always, always open it pot away eh. and then pull the pot off. So give it a bit <laughs> of a stir. No, it's not sticking so that should be fine, so we can put it back on. Oh, don't touch. Oh, put, wash your hands. You've touched it. You've licked your fingers, so you better go and wash your hands quickly. You don't want to spread too many germs. Okay, so we've got everything in the hummus. All we need now is some basil. So we're just going to throw a bunch of basil in. It doesn't smell this, guys. How does that smell? Good. Minty. So throw, put that in as well. There we go. So in all of this in? Just all of it in the blender like that. And so we're going to make a basil hummus. <laughs> And I think that's all our ingredients. So all we need to do now is put it on here. And if Lila, you want to press the uh, go button, and we'll blend it. So hit the high button. Ready, go. Woohoo! Blending away there. Whoa, look at that. And in a couple of seconds, we have made hummus. Awesome. You can push stop now, push stop. Very cool. Look at that, look at that beautiful hummus here that we're going to have for our soup. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you've just joined us on Cook 30 for Kids, we're having so much fun in the kitchen. We have Lila and Brayden with us from Tennessee. What's on the menu? Thai butternut and cilantro soup with basil hummus and watermelon pizza. Sounds hard to make. So, what's a watermelon pizza? Who knows? Well, let's see what a watermelon pizza is. It's really fun. So we're going to have this. Check out this great watermelon. Isn't that cool? Pretty big. Pretty big. I've been there. So what I'm going to do, we're going to take a big chunk out of it, like that. Going to cut through there. 
Oh, it's a beauty. And we're going to cut another slice here as well, probably about an inch or about two centimetres thick, like that. There you go, look at that. Ooh. And if we cut it into wedges, like this. Sorry. That's okay. What does that look like? A uh, pizza. Exactly. So that's going to be the base of our pizza. So we're going to put it on a little serving dish here. It looks quite nice if you do a bit of a few edges there like, like that. A snowflake. <laughs> Very cool. Doesn't that look cool? Yeah. So that's our pizza. Also, before we ch we turn the chopping board over during the break, so we're not kind of cutting on onion surface. Um, but yeah, isn't it look cool? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do some really cool fruit to dress on that now. So we've got some lovely fruit. Do you want to grab some of the fruit there? Lila, grab some of the fruit over for us. Should okay. I check the soup to see if it's ready? Good plan. Let's have a look. It looks good. Take the lid off. Let's have a look. So, um, berries? Berries, yep. Some cherries. Berries. And, and blueberries. Cool. So I'll come back to that shortly. We'll just, um, just before we do, we'll just check it's working. Just get the spoon and we're just going to just plug it in there. And as you can see, it's nice and soft. So you should be able to get the, um, the bit of pumpkin and it should be nice and soft and kind of squishy. If it's not, then you need to make it cook for a bit longer. Okay, put it in and blend away. So just keep blending there. I'll put a bit more water in because it's um, a lot of the water is evaporated. So I'll just put about another cup of water in. You do need to adjust your soup sometime. There you go. So just keep blending away. And meanwhile, Lila, I'll get you to empty the hummus, the hummus here, into the um, this little bowl here, and I'll start chopping up fruit. Um, basically, just pull it up like this and lift the lift the lift the, the black thing off. Oh. <laughs> cool. So put a nice, we've got a nice little blue serving dish here. You might need to use your, your other thing there. Oh yeah. I'll just move these watermelon out the way so the kids at home can see what's going on. So we're multitasking here. Stuff is getting thick. Is it? That's mm. great. You're doing very well there. So we've got a, a peach here. So we're just going to just take some fruit and we're just going to chop it up into different shapes. Whoops. Let's come out with the stone, which makes it a bit harder. So if we get some little slices like that, let's come out with the stone. And we're just going to put some really beautiful fruit on top of this pizza. So we're just going to make lots of little slices. How's it looking? Good. Oh, it's all bubbling, is it? Oh, you can turn it, turn the gas off down to off. I might have spilled a little bit. Oh, that's okay. Uh, do you taste it? That's a good opportunity to taste it. Oh. Okay. Put dip your finger in. What does it taste like? No, no. Yep, cool. Don't double dip though. Just one dip. Yep. Have a taste. Shimmy. Here's like hummus. Well, it tastes. Like you have a taste too. Hummus with. And what's the flavour there? Hummus with. I don't know. Mm, basil. So we'll just wash our hands. Oh, yeah. Things we've kind of dipped. So it's okay to dip into food as long as you've got clean hands and you don't double dip. Tastes really nice. Mm, cool. Oh wait, no. Hot. I'm at cool. So I'm just going to start decorating this pizza, and as you can see, we're just putting lots of little lots of stuff on it. And we've got some blueberries here as well. Now, if oh. you're going to grab the coconut cream and open that, coconut. And tip, tip oh, half of that into the into the pumpkin soup. Half just of it. Going to arrange some berries. Yep. And Lila, if you can put some cashews and some water into the blender. Say that again, some please. Cashew cream. Put some. Put a cup of cashews, and I'll just put the cashews in. We're running out of time, so we need to get finished before the show's over. So if you want to put about a cup of water in, get a cup of water and put it in there and blend away. And I'll keep dressing From this here? pizza. Um, so yes, put there. Put that in. Put. That's great. And we're going to dress this this here. We're going to put some cherries on. So we're going to make this really put lovely that dessert in? pizza. Put it, yeah, put it in and blend it. Mm. So we're just going to try to balance some of this fruit on here. We'll chop up some. Oh, don't get the lid. Oh, making go. a big mess. <laughs> that would have been exciting if that lid wasn't there, wouldn't it? And push the go button. Oh, look at that. It's like a really nice cashew cream to go over the top. So there we go. Fix it around. Give it a good stir.
That's great. So in the break, we're just going to put the soup into a bowl and garnish it with some cilantro. We're going to drizzle some cashew cream over the pizza. We've got the hummus ready and our meal is done. So in the break, we've garnished this food and garnishing is really, really important because food should not only taste good, but it should look great as well. So we put some cilantro and some coconut cream on the soup and we've put some drizzled, some cashew cream, some coconut, and some fresh mint on the pizza. Pizza Doesn't look amazing? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we've thanked Jesus for this food and done the blessing, so let's eat. Let's go, let's see what it tastes like. This is the most important part. Let's give that a go there. Bring it over closer. Very cool, dip your spoon in and let's see what it tastes like. Nothing like a nice Thai coconut. Wow, this is great. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Bad, eh? Well, thank you for joining us today. We've really enjoyed having you, and we look forward to seeing you next time on Cook 30 for Kids!